Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss skewness. A distribution is said to be skewed if mean, median and mode fall at defined points. That is mean is not equal to median is not equal to mode. So if mean is not equal to median in is not equal to mode, we can say the distribution is not symmetric or skewness is there or quartiles are not equidistant from the median and the curve drawn with the help of the given data is not symmetrical but stretched more to one side than to the other okay so we just take one example so we have a data group data say 0 to 20 20 to 40 40 to 60 60 to 80, 80 to 100. Okay, so it is nothing but a class. I can the frequency say 2, 4, 8, 3, 1. Okay, now for this particular data, we can draw the histogram. Okay, now what is histogram? Suppose 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80, 80 to 100. So 0 to 2 it is 2, 20 to 40 it is 4, 40 to 8, 60 it is 8, okay. 60 to 80 it is say 3 and 80 to 100 it is 1. So it is nothing, it's nothing but a histogram. Okay. Now, if you connect the midpoints, we can draw a figure which is called frequency polygon. Frequency polygon. Okay. Frequency polygon. Now, for this particular group data, we can calculate the mean, median and mode. So, the group mean of this particular data is 46.66. The median is 47.5 and the mode is 48.88. So the mean value 46.66 will be somewhere here. So this is say 46.66 mean value. Median value will be somewhere here 47.5 or the mode value is here somewhere here 48.88. Okay, now how to calculate or what is skewness? Suppose there is one figure. If the left part is the same as the right part, then we can say the skewness is zero or it is symmetric. Okay, now if the right part is uh, much more longer than the left part. Right part is much more longer than the left part, then it is called right skewed. Right skewed distribution. Okay, suppose the frequency is like that, say 30, 20, 12, 8, 2. Now, if you draw the histogram for this particular, maybe it like that. Okay, so long right tail. Similarly, if the frequency is like that, say 2, 8, 12, 30, 60. So 2, 8, 12, 30, 60. So long left tail. Okay, so it is, so it depends upon the dis distribution of the data. So if there is a long left tail, so if the left part is much more than the right part, then it is called left skewed distribution. Okay. The measurement of the skewness. Okay. So suppose 
so a uh, few useful formula there through which we can calculate the skewness so mean minus median similarly we can use mean minus mode or we can calculate q1 plus q3 minus 2q2 so through this we can calculate the skewness and these are the absolute measure of the skewness okay so units are there similarly we can calculate coefficient of skewness okay so we can calculate coefficient of skewness okay so as in this dispersion for comparing two series we do not calculate these absolute measures but we calculate the relative measures called the coefficient of skewness which are pure numbers independent of the units of the measurement suppose you want to compare two distribution where one unit is the meter another is liter one unit is centimeter another is kilometer one unit is feet another is degree centigrade so how can you compare so in this case we have to apply use coefficient of skewness so simple formula there through which we can calculate the coefficient of skewness so first one is mean minus mode divided by standard deviation or we can calculate mean minus median divided by standard deviation or we can calculate q1 plus q3 minus 2q2 by q3 minus q1 okay so in this way we can calculate the coefficient of skewness so suppose so that means if sk is equal to 0 the distribution the distribution is symmetric okay and if sk is equal to negative the distribution is negatively skewed or it is called left skewed if sk is equal to positive then the distribution is positively skewed okay or right skewed okay now you can see this one suppose the formula is s k is mean minus median so if it in this particular figure mean is equal to median is equal to mode so if you apply this particular for mean minus median so the skewness will be zero but if in this case so mode may be somewhere here median may be somewhere here and mean may be somewhere here so skewness mean minus median so mean minus median or mean minus mode both are positive value so it is also called positively skewed okay now in this case assume this is nothing but a mode then say it is median say it is okay so mean minus median or mean minus mode both the values are negative so it is called negatively skewed okay so symmetric where mean mean is equal to median is equal to mode it is called rightly skewed or positively skewed it is left skewed or negatively skewed okay now we can see the calculation for that now for this particular given data mean is 46.66 median is 47.5 mode is 48.88 so easily you can calculate the skewness sk so mean minus median that is nothing but 46.66 minus 47.5 is nothing but minus 0.84 or mean minus mode 46.66 mean value minus mode value 48.88 so minus 2.22 or easily you can calculate q1 q2 q2 q3 for using for this particular data so so i have already calculated this one so q1 value is 32.5 q3 value is 58.75 minus 2 into q2 
q2 is nothing but a median value so 47.5 the answer is 48 point uh, sorry the answer is minus 3.75 okay so negative value indicates the distribution is negatively skewed so uh, uh, similarly we can easily can calculate the coefficient of skewness so the standard deviation for the group this group data is um, 20.20.2758 20 so mean minus mode is nothing but minus 2.22 so minus 2.22 so the answer is minus 1.1094 similarly uh, 20.2758 is the standard deviation 3 into mean minus median so 3 into mean minus median mean minus median is minus 0 0.84 that means nothing but minus 0 0.1243 clear similarly you can calculate q3 minus q1 so q3 minus q1 is nothing but 26.25 26.25 and q1 plus q3 minus 2 q2 is nothing but minus minus 3.75 so minus 3.75 the answer is minus 0 0.1428 so this value the, the negative values indicates that it is negatively skewed so suppose we have two data say data 1 and data 2 if skewness of data 1 say minus 8 and skewness of data 2 is minus 12 we can say both the distribution are negatively skewed but the data 2 is much more skewed than the left skewed than the data 1 or we can say the data 1 skewness is plus 8 and the data 2 is minus 12 so we can say data 1 is positively skewed data 2 is negatively skewed so through sk we can compare to the to the data distribution okay next uh, already we know so through the uh, uh, quartiles uh, we can measure the skewness or we can observe the skewness or skewness is there or not clear yeah. so if it is it's, if it is a, if it is skewness is zero or if it is positively skewed or if it is say negatively skewed so if it is positively skewed so assume it is q1 q2 q3 so q1 q2 minus q1 is equal to q3 minus q2 so if it is a symmetric if the data distribution is symmetric then q2 minus q1 is equal to q3 minus q2 okay similarly for this particular distribution uh, so q2 may be somewhere here q1 is here q3 say here so obviously q2 minus q1 is not equal to q3 minus q2 so here q2 minus q1 is less than q3 minus q2 so if it is if the situation is like this then we can say it is right skewed okay or positively skewed or say it is q1 q2 q1 q3 okay so q2 minus q1 is obviously not equal to q3 minus q2 and moreover q2 minus q1 is much more than q3 minus q2 so if the situation is like this then you can say it is left skewed or negatively skewed or through the figure also we can uh, we can say through the histogram through the frequency polygon we can say whether the distribution is skewed or symmetric so if the distribution is looks like that we can say it is symmetric distribution if the distribution is look if the right long right tail is there then we can say it is right skewed or positively skewed if long left tail is there then it is called negatively skewed or left skewed okay and that is the end of this particular lecture. Thank you very much.